Welcome back to MLG Saturday Night from Raleigh, North Carolina. We have a match on our main stage, Eon Instinct and UR Dynasty all tied up one and one. What's up, Talents Mom? How you doing? Here we go, Scott. Incredible match so far, and we are geared up right now for game number three. It's the swing game, and we're heading to a classic map, Capture the Flag on Sanctuary. What a fitting game for the swing game, Chris, but that is not a mistake you are seeing on your screen. Dynasty has actually tied it, and it is one to one. Can they continue their momentum? I think so. Let's find out. Game number three, CTF on Sanctuary is up right now. My bad. So here we are getting started right now with UR Dynasty. Scott Tazoxic was the key player for them in Team Slayer on Android. And I want to hear, how does this team feel after that big win? Did they get the monkey off their chest? They know they can now beat Instinct. Can they carry that momentum into game number three? I think we should crack up, crank up our Astro A40s with a listen in. Scott, we saw a triple kill from Cloud to start the game. Then we saw the flag being run by Dynasty. They were the first on the board, but you just heard them clear out our base. They gave up on the instinct flag cap run. They just let Roy run it back to the base and put it in. They knew there was no stopping instinct on that return flag. And now it looks like this map starting to slow down with Instinct starting to take map control. Great job by Dynasty realizing they had no chance, but regardless, Instinct answered the call as he's being right back on the map. Two flag caps, two minutes on CTF Sanctuary. That's extremely unheard of. It's kind of nuts, though. When you think about it, it took a triple kill from Cloud in order to spring a Dynasty cap. Instinct makes it look so easy. Right now, Ogre 2 is just kind of walking the flag in. You got Roy with the sniper watching the snipe side. You got Pistola no-scoping people on the front ramps. And Ogre 2 is putting in flag number two. After just two minutes and 45 seconds, Instinct already up two to one on CTF Sanctuary. This may be the fastest. Check out, I got your Pistola. A triple kill, extermination. Killing Frenzy, 11 kills in a row. The crowd is erupting. For I got your pistol, the South Carolina native, and he is running the third and final flag here with the help of Ogre 2. This game is all but over. No one is going to stop them here. Ogre 2 is going to have the flag dropped in front of his base. Tizoxic clutching it with a long-range grenade, finishing off that flag run. But here comes Pistola. He hasn't died in 11 kills, and now he is making his way for the objective giving up his body for the sake of the team. But he wasn't able to get the touch in Dynasty. Now has full map control. They, oh, only, have no. one, they only have one alive, Scott. What? 
Cloud was the only one alive. Three went down. Now it is up to Tzoxic and Snipedown, who just came off respawns in the rock. So Instinct was really rolling. They answered right back, put in two flag caps back to back, and nearly got the third one. But a long Hail Mary grenade finished off by a headshot from Tzoxic. Saved Dynasty the game, and basically all the momentum in this match. Roy now lining up the sniper shot. He's just on the prowl at Dynasty's base, looking for teammates, listening to the callouts. And Ogre 2 now is in their base. He's forcing the spawns at Sniper Hut. Roy's going to have a field day in about three seconds. Ogre 2 trying to run the flag bottom get middle. Slaughtered. And they're going to have all four down. Four down. We got Cloud pushing up as well as Tzoxic. Tzoxic going to the carbine. He'll be watching the Snipe Hut with his sniper rifle. And now he's looking over at Rocks. Hits a player once. That was a bloodshot. No damage done to the player over on carbine from Instinct. Meanwhile, you have Cloud on your screen. He's moving up into ring two, going up against Lunchbox here. And it looks like Lunchbox trying to get away, and Cloud's actually chasing here. Yeah, kind of confusing, but it's on his side of the map, so he can get away with that. If that was on Instinct's side, I'd say, whoa, questionable, bro. I said, bro. Once again, Cloud the only one alive. Snipe down, and Hines coming off the respawn from the rocks, trying to give him help on the snipe side of the map there from Instinct. Long range shots from Snipe Down will finish off one kill, but it's a three on three situation here. Both teams jockeying for position. And Scott, let's talk about the power weapons on this map. When are we going to see the next rocket? Rockets are going to come up in exactly 30 seconds, Chris. Or, well, 24 10. I can't do math on the fly like that. Don't put me on the spot, Chris. You set me up to fail. Yeah, I can't do math either. <laughs> it's about 40 seconds from that time. Anyway, we got Snipe Down coming off respawn here. And we got Pistola, though, with another sniper rifle. Last time he picked up this weapon, he won a, a killing frenzy. 10 kills in a row without dying. Now it looks like he's just going to be jumping around the ring, working with Roy, and now he's set up to pick up some easy kills, taking down Hines. Cloud's looking at him, forces him to back up. Snipe down, though, trying to play great defense. He was the last line of defense, and he just scared away two players here from Instinct. That's, a, that's the other beauty of this team. Even if Roy is having a bad series of events, which he's not even playing bad, but it's not Roy-like, he can't stop Pistola as well. It's just too big of threats. Bash Brothers, Roy and Pistola, it's not fair to play against them sometimes, but I'm, I'm looking at Dynasty and I'm seeing some great play from all three members that are I consider Slayers on the squad. Snipe down, Cloud, and Tzoxic. Tzoxic definitely not playing as much of an objective role in this series, hasn't needed to, because Heinz is really focusing on that objective for this team, and they know in order to beat Instinct, you need to slay with Instinct. Yeah, they also have to hit every shot. Snipe Town's just barely missing the headshots on the members of Instinct, but he's still damaging them. But if those turn into headshots, the momentum will shift completely, Chris. Snipe Town looking for Lunchbox. Lunchbox will get the rocket off. That would be a triple kill extermination for Lunchbox? Yeah, apparently. Triple kill extermination. Let's run with it. All right. It looked like I saw a red X medal there. And it looks like Lunchbox is going to be pushing up here. He's got Tzoxic in the rocks as well as another player. It looked like that was Cloud. And Lunchbox being very patient, knowing that the grenades are coming in. Ogre 2 is going to finish off the kill with grenades. All four alive here for Instinct. Actually, Roy will be going down, but Lunchbox is still going to be trying to rally this flag over through the rocks. Well, he has Ola pushing into the courtyard. As we speak, so he's going to get another touch on this flag. Every cleans up this kill, and now he's going to get it into his courtyard. Chris with the juggle. Nope, fails. Trying to use the jetpack flag juggle, one of the most difficult things to do here for objective players in Halo Reach. Much more difficult than using that sprint. Right now, though, Scott, let's talk big picture. We got Pistol and Roy up here for Instinct. On the other side, we have three members up for Dynasty. But they're forced to play defense here because we constantly have Instinct members trying to get into the base, especially the Sniper Hut. Well, notice how when we always when we saw Cloud earlier on in this game get into the Sniper Hut, how quickly Instinct just converged on him and killed him instantly. They know that is the power position, and it's, you have to get that guy out of your side of the map. So that's why Dynasty just isn't doing a good enough job killing the members of Instinct in the power position. We do have Cloud picking up a new sniper rifle here. All four members from Dynasty Alive. Snipe down doing a nice job getting out with red health. There you see Ogre 2 in the rocks. He's going to be finished off by Cloud, but they're playing very passively here, and they're allowing Roy to pick up a sniper uncontested on his side of the map. Well, that's going to happen. No one was in too good of a position, but notice how Cloud is just really pulling back. We haven't seen a player really snipe from the health pack since Halo 2 days. 
Cloud getting shot from the rocks now. It looks like Snipe Down is going to help him out. Distracting, I got your pistol. Cloud jumps out, finishes off the easy kill. Taking shots from Ogre 2 now, bottom middle. And it looks like Joe, that'll be Tizox. It's going to try and push into the ring to clear it out. It's a one on one versus Roy. After seeing two members, Tizox dips out and Cloud on an incredible flank here. I love this play from Cloud. He knows he has a player to his left, and he's just trying to do as much damage as he can without tanking any. And now he's going to jump in the face of Pistola. The Rockets Let's will be down. Dynasty has the opportunity to pick him up, and Heinz will. Just a great job right there from Cloud. As even though he was killed by the guy with the Rockets, now his teammates have the Rockets, and Heinz really need to hit that first Rocket right there, Chris. Slight missed Rocket is going to cost him a flag opportunity. Snipe down was waiting there, trying to pull the flag. He's waiting for his teammates to push up. And now you just see Ogre 2 pushing him back, making sure that all of Dynasty is out of his base before they push forward. Instinct is just so good at these <laughs> game types. The objective game types, they just do not make mistakes. Yeah, it's really just, it's like clockwork, Chris. It's just so fluid. Beautiful thing. But I'm not counting Dynasty out. They have five minutes, which is more than enough time to come back and tie this game up. Finally pushing in the ring, too. He's got Snipe down trying to help him out in the rocks. But meanwhile, on the other side of the stage, you got Roy running the flag here for instinct. He spots that player in ring two, and he's just going to ignore him. Getting shot from behind. His shield is dropped, but he still has full blue bars and health. And it looks like Kazoxic, the last member alive, in position to stop him. And it's not going to happen. Roy is going to get this one. And game over. Instinct takes game number three. There you see the classic lunchbox high fives after that big win in game number three. Dynasty off to another great start, but Instant came roaring back behind the killing frenzy from I Got Your Pistola. Pistola dropping 28 kills in that game, absolutely going off, putting up the plus 18. And Lunchbox, check out him going positive 9 in that one. Lunchbox really showing that he has the slaying power to match his twin brother. Talk about an impressive game there, Chris. I mean, plus 18 versus a team like Dynasty who just beat him by 13 kills. This is, this is crazy. It's a great way to bounce back. So after three games, we see Instinct up two, Dynasty one. Guys, that will do it for our first three games. When we come back, we'll have game number four, Capture the Flag on Element.